appropriately themed pink and green roses. <laughs> I just love the um, the eucalyptus, like the eucalyptus mixed with the roses together. So pretty. Oh, look at these colors. So roars, where you at? <laughs> To all my other Divine Nine sisters, don't hate, don't hate. Just give me, just give me this moment. <laughs> I love them so much. Yeah. Love them. Happy Valentine's Day. So, I thought I was recording and I was not. And so I've done quite a few already. Feels like everything's going wrong. I thought I had wax paper for my strawberry, chocolate covered strawberries. I do not. So I'm using saran wrap. But anyway, just making a quick um, charcu charcuterie, Valentine's Day charcuterie uh, dessert board um, or plate, because we're not putting this on a board. Uh, but just going over what I have. Um, so you want to have a dessert that you can share. My Valentine's Day is a little bit different this year. So. <laughs> Uh, I'll explain that maybe in another video, but you want to have a dessert that you can share So I have one slice of cheesecake two red velvet cupcakes so that each person can have their own chocolates um, This is leftover chocolate from Christmas girl guy bro whoever's watching um, but just wanted to kind of give like different you know color uh, variations so I love caramel so these are white uh, white chocolate covered caramels by Ghirardelli and these are Russell Stover's mint um, dark chocolate mint covered in dark, dark mint covered in dark chocolate all those R's and then this is um, peppermint bark very popular um, Ghirardelli was sold out so I got the Russell Stover's uh, peppermint barks um, some French berry sparkling lemonade if you have a non-alcoholic drinker in your home or on your date, whatever, they can uh, indulge in the sparkling berry lemonade. It is so good at Trader Joe's. And then I like to get um, a sweet red. And I just got the cheap, well, let me not say cheap, cheap in price. It's under $4. Um, the Oak Leaf Vineyard sold only at Walmart, I believe. Um, I don't know if they're a total wine, but it's a red blend. All their wines are really good. I have the sangria in the fridge, but I wanted to do the sweet red blend for this. And so... Now I'm doing the chocolate covered strawberries. The strawberries I got are from Trader Joe's. They were huge and so they are just fighting me back when it comes down to dipping them in the chocolate. I've hand dried them. I've done everything. I'm going to pop them in the freezer, let them chill, and then we'll come back to doing the platter. Okay? See you in a little bit. Okay, so the strawberries are in the refrigerator chilling with the chocolate on it. So the two cupcakes are here. I'm going to put some chocolate on the plate in different areas. Okay, so I am now putting the um, platter together while the chocolate covered strawberries chill. I have cupcakes, so we're gonna put those. Um, I got this little dish, this little heart dish from the Target dollar section like years ago. I just like it to kind of break up the um, white, the large, um, white plate and kind of create like you know some dimensions so we're putting the heart um dish at the bottom of the uh white square plate this is from pier one vintage um i don't think they sell this anymore online i know they're just online now but um you can check them out to see um and i'll try to see if i can link any other similar dishes or platters in the description box but I have the heart-shaped um, dish. This is like a catch-all for jewelry, but I've used it for entertaining purposes. I've never really used it for jewelry. I have another one, actually. I have another one that I had in my apartment downstairs. That's actually in my office right now that I use for jewelry. This one has always been used for, like, you know, serving food and so forth and desserts. So, cupcakes here. Um, don't know where I'm going to put the cheesecake yet. I think I have an idea. But the uh, white chocolate-covered caramels, I'm going to put those... On the corners I have no idea what I'm doing but it's that makes it all the more fun I think I want to break up the red and white with some brown here because I'll have chocolate I'll have chocolate on the strawberries all around I'm telling y'all what I'm doing in advance uh, stop talking bro okay all right and then 
maybe top that with one red and white one okay cheesecake i guess i gotta take the cheesecake out now and put it where it belongs where is my serving oh here it is looking for my server let me not do a reflection because i am not dressed for the video <laughs> i'm gonna get dressed in a little bit but i hope y'all can't see the reflection of anything let me stop giving ideas <laughs> Let me stop giving ideas. Put the bottles down. Everybody better be zooming in because uh, let's just say I am, yeah, I'm not dressed. Did this touch the eucalyptus? Oh, wait. Let me rinse it off. Okay. So we're going to take the cheesecake. I hope it does not stick. Let's do it this way. Come on. I want the graham cracker crust to come up. Yay, it did. Okay, I think what I'm going to do is put the cheesecake right here so it goes into the dip of the heart. Yeah, like that. Okay, okay. Looking good. <laughs> this is so much fun. Okay. So, I mean, if you have dessert at home right now and you're seeing this video, you can get it. If you haven't started your date yet, hopefully by the time this video goes out, you can run out to the store if you want to do something fun like this. Or you can do it tomorrow, you know, if you're off for President's Day. Mm, this cheesecake is just... Hmm. Lent starts on Wednesday. She'll be back on track. Ooh. Tear this thing up. I hope y'all didn't see that. All right, I'll put these in the trash can. Strawberry should be almost ready. Strawberry should be almost ready. This chocolate cracked, so I don't know. I might like drizzle the caramel on top of the stuff, but why do that when you have your own caramel sauce? Let me see if I could get this to zoom. There we go. Caramel sauce is by Trader Joe's in the ice cream section. So I'm going to drizzle this on top of something. I'm not going to tell you just what it is yet. Okay. I have some extra white chocolates. And I mean, I don't eat fruit. But if you eat fruit, you could put your strawberries on top of the um, cheesecake if you wanted to. I don't eat fruit. I put my fruit in my blender and I drink it. So if I have like leftover strawberries when I make anything... For other people, I put it in my blender and I drink it the next day or whatever. Chocolate covered strawberries, if I have leftover, I just put some almond milk in the blender and blend it. And I have like a chocolate strawberry milkshake. So I'll, I'll use the fruit, but I don't like my cheesecake um, with anything on top of it. Maybe something like whipped cream or like a drizzled sauce. Hint, hint. If you're a plain cheesecake type of person, let me know. Comment down below. Or if you're not, what, what kind of cheesecake is your favorite? Are you like a turtle cheesecake person? Are you like a marble? Marble is really good too. Um, or like any other flavors that you've tried before. Let me know down below. I don't like that. That's too bland. So I might put those there. Okay. I think it's time to take out the strawberries out of the refrigerator. They should be good by now. So let's do that. Woo, the excitement. And if they're not ready, they're going to be ready. Because we, we, got, we got to get ready. We got to get dressed. All right, so here we go. Here they go. I'm just going to take them off one by one. Again, I do not have wax paper. I ran out. So I don't know. It ain't no telling. Oh, it worked. There's no telling what they're going to look like. Just prop them down. Oh, saran wrap. Y'all, I'm here to tell y'all, saran wrap works just as well. Look at this. I'm taking them off, and they're not really, like, it left a little bit of residue, but the other one didn't leave anything. So it comes right off. Have that chocolate peeping out. Off the top of my head, I have never made a platter like this before. And this is really not a charcuterie board, but, you know... I think it's more like cheeses and grapes or whatever, but I'm calling it that. The dessert dessert platter, whatever you want to call it. Charcuterie is just more appropriate, I guess, in terms of it being a spread or conglomerate of stuff, you know? Okay, I talked too soon because now some of them are sticking on the paper. All right, that's looking pretty. Y'all seeing that? Oop. Did not want to get my 
lower half. I'm telling y'all, I am not dressed <laughs> completely. <laughs> okay. And even though they're not the most attractive covered uh, chocolate covered strawberries, I'm okay with it because it's really for, you know, others. Not really me. And people will eat what they want to eat. Whether it's professionally dressed or not. It all tastes the same, right? The presentation is key, though. I'm thinking maybe... Yeah, presentation is key, so I'm trying. But if you don't have it perfect, it's fine. I'm trying to see if I could fit... Maybe I could fit a third. Yeah, I think I could fit a third. Let me take the chocolates out for now. I think I could fit more strawberries on the sidelines. Speaking of sidelines, did y'all watch the, um, the Super Bowl? I didn't. This leaf looks kind of suspect, girl. I don't know what was going on in the farm when you were sprouting up out the ground, but her leaves look a little. So I have this awkward, uh, yeah. So I got three and three. We'll figure it out. Doesn't have to be perfect. Chocolate there. <laughs> so cute. Oh, you know what? For the people that love, um, Thing, then you could probably do yeah you could probably do the a strawberry on top of the cheesecake should I do it I don't know where I want to put this should I put it on top I'll put it on top just to be yeah it's not the prettiest of the bunch let me see if I can find a prettier one for presentation since we're trying to be Instagram worthy yeah that was really pretty the way that came out let me rinse out this chocolate. Okay. I'm supposed to be reeling this. Let me finish this last reel. So I'm gonna just do. Let me see how that looks. I'm doing a reel and I'm trying to. Hope y'all can see that. Okay, yeah. So it skipped for me putting the cupcakes on the plate. So the cupcake being completely filled <laughs> right here. Cupcake, full plate, but it's okay. And then I'm just gonna do the last step and pour some wine. Now you could pour your wine closer to the time that, you know, your guests arrive or, you know, your company, whoever, um, you and your, your guests is uh, ready to, um, to dine or to eat, but, I'm just doing this because I got to take a picture of it for Instagram. So I'll probably just um, put it back in the refrigerator and the glasses so they can stay chilled. Okay. So that's that. Okay. Put this back. All right. Y'all ready for the finishing touch? Now I could throw away all my trash, saran wrap, everything. And now, the caramel sauce. I'm gonna drizzle it with a fork. Y'all probably figured it out. <laughs> I'm not gonna drizzle this or crack this, so I'm just gonna eat this, honey. But let me show you. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, 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 Oh my God. With some wine, woo! Heaven. Oh, now it's like playing over and over. That's annoying. Okay, let's go ahead and get this stirred up a little bit. It's a little thick because it was in the refrigerator. Drizzle that baby. All over. Your strawberry and your cheesecake. Put some on the back of the crust. Some on the cupcakes. 
I mean, it's Valentine's Day. <laughs> Put some over here. Now this is given that the person you're serving or sharing this with likes caramel. Don't mind my um, thing in the background. It's like so annoying, but I'm going to uh, repeat that on the last cupcake. Okay. Let me show you the finished product. All right. That's that, y'all. I'm gonna go ahead and get ready. Let me zoom in for you so you can see that. I said zoom in. I did not zoom. I took the whole tripod. <laughs> Let me zoom in so y'all can see that. Ta. And if you're not following me on Instagram, be sure to go ahead and follow me now. I'm going to post the final picture. You're seeing it before everyone else is. I think um, but I'll go ahead and post the picture on Instagram so hop over there and give it a like I appreciate it and so yeah have a wonderful Valentine's Day no matter how you're spending it remember that love is a 365 a year thing I wish you a great uh, week ahead and an even more amazing rest of February love y'all don't forget to like comment share and subscribe Bye! So pretty.